everybody. <laughs> this is another one of your bad ideas. This, this is a bad idea because I'm drinking what you paid for. Hey, everybody. It's Whiskey at Work. Why? Why are still? you? Three do years hey in. Why, why are we doing that? I don't know how else cares? to start it other than hey, Well, everybody. you need to come up with something better what than that. What else should I do? I don't know. Maybe it's that. your turn, Rob, to come Fine. up with something. Hi, everybody. <laughs> no, that's what I say. <laughs> Can't just copy what I say. Uh, <laughs> this is actually going to be a pretty fun week because this is this is Monday when we don't normally do these. This is, Russ is making us do this and twice. And we got the, the email this morning that said, uh, guys, I got to knock out a few of these, so... Uh, you're going to so have to drink you, today. you got to drink a lot more. Yep. And we, we, we said, sure. I don't even think there was an argument we'll, in that email. We'll take one for the team. <laughs> totally will. But this, but we were, we were excited about this anyway uh, from last week. First and foremost, let's thank Joel and Jay Kaff, Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yep. From Proof Artists and Distillers in Fargo. All right. This it, was, it really came out of the blue. I mean, we weren't expecting oh, totally. this, and then all of a sudden we had a meeting with them, and then they asked for an address, and then lo and behold, one of them shows up on our doorstep. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't with mail a, anything. With a box of cool stuff. Their and master distiller shows up at our office and says, hey. That's how you fellas. know you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, honestly. I never thought about well, it. Well, that and picking the barrel, at the new Rift barrel. There's, I guess I guess we're here, folks. I guess... <laughs> This is the big time right now. So you're kind of watching history in the making, I guess. That was, I won't do that again. <laughs> I'll be done. Yeah, uh, but but tomorrow's going to hurt if we're proof, starting uh, like Proof this Artisan today. Distillers, Fargo, home of one of our favorite bourbons, Crooked Furrow, uh, brought us down. This is why we got so excited to do this. Because when we first heard this story, lots of questions popped oh up. Oh, my. <laughs> between you and I. I right? know Lemmy was a big fan of the <laughs> North Dakota distilling market. This is Ace of Spades bourbon. Ace of Spades, those of you that are rock fans at all, metal fans at and, all. And let's be honest, if you don't know Motorhead and the Ace of Spades, Google it and become a fan because it's awesome. Right. It's, it's the, 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 the whole story of Lemmy Kill Mister and the band of Motorhead is... is um, you think of a rock <laughs> musician, and what are you going to think of? The first, the first face that should come into your mind should be Lemmy, it, 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 right? Pretty close. It, I mean, it, either that or the the Metallica guy. Yeah, the, the, Metallica. the Metallica guy. Well, I have one. Lemmy on my brain now. <laughs> but the question we had with this is: How did an English heavy metal band? That was huge in the 70s and early 80s, maybe. Really, they, they were never, Motorhead was never huge in the United States until, well, probably, I mean, to dedicated diehard metal fans. Right. They were known. But they never had a, a hit on the rock charts in the United States until after Lemmy the- passed away. Back in 2015. Which is sad. That's where all you people have failed me. <laughs> right. Uh, and Ace of Spades, of course, was their, their most well-known song. Love, Love Me Like a Reptile was a close <laughs> Really? Song. Is that the one that was on your, your charts? Mine was uh, Daddy, uh, Don't Let Daddy Kiss Me, I believe. <laughs> was the one, that's, those are all real songs from Motorhead, by the way. From, of course, the hit album. Orgasmatron. Right. <laughs> But they were rock stars, Pop- popular man. Popular in 1986. These 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 guys were. It was a, it was a trio generally. I think Lemmy was the only. He was the, the only original member, the right? Only, it was yeah. His band and everybody yep. else was a hired gun. Kind of came in for, and out for certain periods of time until he got sick of you or you couldn't keep up with him. One of the two. I don't know how you could. Uh, but how did this English metal band? that influenced so many rock artists today. I mean, I watched a little bit from Lemmy's funeral, you know, and it was, it was, it was everybody that was anybody in the rock world that was there, you know, eulogizing this guy. Sure. So the influence was amazing. But how did it end up in a distillery in Fargo, North Dakota? You know, Joel wasn't uh, super clear on that while he was here. 
he, they were dealing with the uh, uh, that brew the, pipeline. The, yeah, the the estate must be dealing with brew pipeline mm-hmm. and some other things to help. You know, I don't know, add funds to the estate, keep the name going, keep right. it out there, which is cool. Uh, they do have. They've been working with a company in Sweden w- with vodka and malt. Motorhead has. Motorhead, yeah. Right. Not Lemmy. That right. would be weird. Not, yeah, or, or. But they've got or the beer and v- vodka, and, and so there's Motorhead wine. There's a Shiraz and a ro- Shiraz rose. And I don't know what those words are that you're saying, so I'll trust that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, good. They, they're real words. <laughs> I, that was the Australian pr- pronunciation of Shiraz. Uh, oh, okay. It's pro- <laughs> in America, it's more closely related to a Syrah, I believe. Oh, got it. Got I could it. be wrong. Sure. Make fun of okay. me. I don't know. I don't want to talk about wine. Ugh. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, hey. Motorhead has, they have a whole, they have a line of beer. They have a line of vodka. They have something that they call the Smoky Shot, which I don't clearly know what that is. It's a, it's a bottle that looks like this that's, that's dark. You can't see what's on the inside of it. And the description of it makes it sound like you're drinking liquid black pepper. <laughs> Is what it, it seemed like, right. which I could imagine somebody like Lemmy would have thoroughly enjoyed. That's how they got those pipes. Yeah. When you sang like that, I would assume. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But it's, it's just a, it's, it's a fascinating journey from that to a distillery in Fargo to sitting right here and, uh, and, and tasting pretty good. And, and taking the last two bottles out of the distillery, by the way. Thank, we did. Thank you. I still can't believe this stuff was driven down to us from Fargo to Rapid City. You guys up a crew. Yeah, when you're a big deal, you're a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Got that kind of pull. That's what it is. Wow. They, they may never call us again. <laughs> they probably won't. Um, but it's, uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty rye heavy. It is. Um, bourbon. Uh, but again, I, I think when you're creating something uh, based on the mythos that's Motorhead, you would almost it almost has to be a, a it's, ride it's gotta forward. Be pretty peppery to begin with, right? <laughs> right. Think? Well, it's it's got to be what you would think of as whiskey. I mean, because when you think of a guy like that, and I don't think we we weren't really sure. We had the conversation. We. It was very close to, this would have been made right about the time Lemmy was, was dying or had died. Yeah, that, I mean, if it's aged four years, it... Because uh, he passed away in 2015. It would have had to have been in the bottle in, what, 2017? 17, 17, 17, yeah. Uh, I think in it was the, 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 the two current members of Motorhead that liked this particular profile and said, run with it. Uh, this is the one they enjoyed the best. And, and another thing you got to notice about this, this isn't the bottle it's supposed to be in, according to Joel. What happened was is their bottles got stuck out on the ships in California yeah. and couldn't get here in time. But you'll also notice that it's the Sturgis edition. They wanted to have this here at the rally last year because of supposedly Lemmy's bike. Oh, yeah, Lemmy's bike was in one of the contests out here. Right, and they wanted to have it here, but it didn't and quite it make didn't it. didn't make it. So this isn't distributed in South Dakota at all. It's in, no. what he said, California, Rhode Island, Arizona. And that's all happening through the brew pipeline people. Right. The, well, AB now, too, I believe. Uh, Anheuser-Busch is also going to be helping. Are they taking it up? Going to be helping. Well. They're helping proof artisan. Finally get down hopefully. here into South Dakota, hopefully, yes. But this thing, is, this thing I believe, was made and are procured by the brew pipeline people. So they're handling all of the distribution of it is the way that I understood it. Oh, well, that Joel, makes sense. Jay, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but. So they made it, gave it to them. Those folks are disseminating it wherever they have Excellent. access to. Well, I, I, it's, it's, it's always fun to kind of have something that really nobody else has uh, any access to, which is kind of neat. Uh, you know, if you know us, we're more than willing to share sometimes. No. If you're cool, you got to be cool. <laughs> because now apparently we are. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, you, your vernacular is now being... Quoted on the Dakota whiskey territory. It is. I want to. I want to thank. Uh, it's Dan, correct? Is that uh, Brenner? I don't no, no, no. Know. Uh, I don't know from from Dakota here. whiskey, uh, the guy that started it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot your name right now. Um, but I want to thank you for that little shout out. That was hilarious. <laughs> Made me laugh out loud <laughs> when uh, when he 
when he said, on the swallow, <clears throat> we're going to get t-shirts made. We got to get t-shirts made. <laughs> we need you. You were supposed to design something for us. I know. I started a bunch of them. Okay. Kind of like you started our story on Oh, yeah. Uh, I haven't whiskey. finished that either. That was three years ago. Good God. We got to stop drinking so much when we do this. This probably is, is most of the issue. But proof artists where all the good ideas come from. <laughs> it's true. It's where none of the work comes from, but that's where the good ideas come from. We, uh, we want to, you know, recommend if you guys are ever up in North Dakota or if you have North Dakota peeps and they can stop by a liquor store and get a, a Crooked Furrow, they could get a Glen Fargo. They've got the Two Docks Vodka, I believe is what it is. And the, is it the Minions Gin, or did I switch that around? Could no, be it's Minions the Minions vodka. Gin, because the Crooked Furrow that we have to try next, it was finished in one of their gin bottles. That's right. So they barrels. do Two Docks, Minions, and then Crooked Furrow. That's, uh, that's just like the, the, the cool names they've come they, up with. They those. make Honest to God Potato Vodka. Not, North, North not, Dakota Potatoes, baby. Uh, not not weird, normal <laughs> What everybody well, else just honest is, to God, I know vodka, vodka is potato. made from potatoes. Well, yeah, but it's also made from wheat and corn, right? But it's North Dakota and other, potatoes. And other thing, I know we're that's... famous for that. There's only a handful wheat? of really cool people that have come You've out of North Dakota. You've never dug a potato, in and your I'm life. I'm one of those. Lawrence Welk, Mark Houston, and uh, and the Cath brothers. And, from... and I, I would say Carson Wentz, but he really had a really rough weekend. <laughs> I know. Thanks, Carson. Thanks for <laughs> taking an ass whooping and letting my Steelers get into the playoffs. We'll leave his name out of this. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is unique. It's cool. You guys from Proof Artisan, thank you so much for bringing this down. And uh, it's I can I can I, I was about to say I can smell the influence of Lemmy, but I don't think anybody ever wanted to yeah. smell Lemmy. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. He, he smoked that's, a lot. I bet that was <laughs> cigarettes and leather. It was awesome. Uh, all right. Don't forget Mountain West Whiskey Festival. Tickets are on sale. Platinum tickets are gone. Platinum tickets are gone. And the VIP are very close behind from there, what I understand. There, there's, there's some VIPs left, but... Uh, Platinums, right? Get them, get them as as quick as you can. It's March fifth at the Rushmore. Tickets available through Mountain West Whiskey Festival dot com. Next week, uh, we or will tomorrow. be we will be shh, don't give secrets. <laughs> we will be uh, we're going to be drinking the bottled and bond crooked furrow, which I'm super excited about, and we're going to talk a little bit about what it means to be bottled and bond because I don't know if a lot of people know. So we'll do you. You know yeah, what it means? overseen by a government agent of some sort. He's, he's close enough, but we'll give him a little more. Too. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with us here at Whiskey Awards. See you tomorrow. tomorrow.